Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Stephen Davidson here in a shave video. I've got about two days worth of beard growth, so let's get started. I've already prepped my face with coconut oil. I'm also going to go with my usual suspect, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Starcraft Roswell Synthetic Brush 24mm Knot. Going with a mainstream brand of soap today. It's not artisan, and that would be Edwin Jagger Cooling Menthol. It's a clean, fresh type scent. I'm going to be trimming my sideburns and the mustache with the Razor Rock Eco, which has a half of one of these in here. And the start of the party, which also has only one half of these in here in the middle slot. The leaf razor. This is one of my but this is my buddy uh, Stephen Lim's suggestion. He said try one blade and pick a slot, and he suggested the mild one. So I'm gonna go with the middle the middle slot or medium. That seems to be most effective to the type of beard that I have. And like I said, one of these, half of these, and both right one blade and both of these razors. And I'm gonna finish it off with been a while since I used it booster polar ice with added menthol I put the sterling menthol frost drops in here a few of them didn't ruin the scent but I did let it sit for a few weeks to make sure that it would cry uncle to the scent and it did all right let's get the small hard puck out off the bloom water yeah that comes in these little really hard pucks and you have to bloom this because if you don't you'll break a window with it well this could be fantastic hope you guys are having a great weekend and getting set up for tonight's big game the Super Bowl Super Bowl number 54 between the Kansas City Chiefs which is who I'm pulling for and the San Francisco 49ers both teams have not been in a Super Bowl in a really long time now. Specifically the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm wanting them to win it because they ain't seen one in 50 years. San Francisco, it ain't been all that long. Not as long, rather. I forget when they won their last one. Of course, I'm not a San Francisco fan. There we go. That should be plenty. As my buddy Anthony says... Load it like you hate it. Christopher David Bailey's shave this morning, head shave this morning with a leaf. First time I've ever seen it used as a head shaver. And I retweeted it. I watched it all on Twitter. One thing about Twitter, you can watch it all right then and there. And uh, I watched it all on Twitter. And uh, it was pretty neat to see it in action on the head shave. So that's cool. All right, now for the leather up, add some water to that bad boy. I had to resubscribe to a few channels. Didn't know I was unsubscribed until I looked closely at the list. And that would be not to the faces. And to resubscribe to, I don't know why YouTube does it. And, and I could, probably could have done it too. And not knowing I've done it when I fall asleep sometimes, when I get tired. And right away I get a nice little clean hit of menthol. It's nowhere near the level of Parasso Green, but it's nice. 
And for dang sure, it's not on the level of a palm olive either. But it's enjoyable and it's very nice. Yogurt anyone? Check it out. Very nice. Yeah, Edwin Jagger's been around since 1987, so they've been around for 30 years. And uh, to me, I think they're they got some good stuff. And I think they're more mainstream and like Perez, so like Chella, like uh, D.R. Harris and uh, True Vet and Hill, those guys, they're not really a artisan. They're more of a commercial, but the fact that they've been around for so long and there's nothing really going on uh, is what makes it artisans more uh, appealing. Also been looking at uh, Blacklands razors, specifically the uh, Blackland Vector Single Edge, and I've also went to TriBlade.com and I've ordered a few blades. Uh, my buddy Stephen Lindmer suggested to at least try the uh, Big Chrome, which I'm going to. I also got a Wizomet blade in there uh, and a couple others. I'd have to look. And yes. pay dirt ladies and gentlemen and then some very comfortable definitely better with one blade in there These Gillette Wilkinson stores are fantastic. Oh, I did not forget that I was going to trim my sideburns, if you're wondering. I just want to get the shave all the way. That way, when I get it, uh, when I go to level up for my second past, I'll get it all and get it really clean in one way. Now it's the mustache, the eco, razor rough eco. Leaf shave is working on some few things, and that's all I can say, and that's all I'm going to say. But I tell you what, that one blade in the leaf is to crash me out on profit. Very nearly nice. Very nice. I'm pretty smooth like that, but I definitely need another pass. That much is certain.
main defense for pass number two. It looks like I got myself with the eco a little bit there. It's all right. Alan Block will take care of that. I'm trying to go against the grain as best I could. That way it won't uh, chew me up when I do go against the grain. But I'll tell you what, this soap is nice. Very nice. my feather blades and that Gillette Wilkinson soap and still that Gillette Wilkinson sword in the eco because it don't it, it's nice but for some reason it's not really quite sharp enough because it's really tough in here now for across the grain from the ear towards the nose Switch off, see what we got. Yeah, definitely need a pump. Half pass. Up top is clean as a whistle. Need a half pass from the chin line down. So that'll be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We are in back in business. Touch more salt. Water here. Hmm, dang, they got my tin there. If I did have the coconut oil on, I'd be bleeding like a stunt hog instead of just two little dots. So, first the height. Definitely way better shave this time around. I'm thinking a sharper blade with just one in there. 
to do the trick, so I'm going to swap that out for a feather. Mm -hmm. Even though they're pretty dang good and comfortable. My beard needs a sharper blade because it struggled. Both Gillette weapons and swords, as you saw, struggled right in here and right in here. I felt a little tuggy. Thing is, that was a fresh blade. So it looks like my pigeon toed Heineken is going to a sharper blade. But that's okay, I got some coming. I also got the Schick Pro line coming too for those water. Right. I managed to get find them at triblade.com, which is really cool. Oh man, I love cold water, James. I tell you what. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try those little chic pro guards, if you will. Uh, in my razor off caulk. I don't think it'd be a good fit for Occam's. I, the Occam's razor, I shouldn't have to bend in it. You know the rest there. And alum everywhere, my Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements alum block, and yes, I do have a rubber band on that. I misspoke the last time. You can tell I've been watching Jeffrey Smith's videos a lot, because his alum block's like down to here. I don't know how he keeps using it. I think he's done with it, but uh, it is what it is. Alum everywhere. But that was very nice. Very nice, comfortable shave. Pretty close, too, for the most part. But the one blade, Mr. Stephen Lim, definitely work. Hats off to you for suggesting that, and hats off for you for suggesting the mild razor with an ultra sharp blade. Just didn't work out too good for me, though, in the. Uh, in the rock with the feather didn't. So I've got another blade coming, and I know one blade that I know would do good in this one. If I can find them, there ain't too many. They're getting harder to find. That would be the Voss cards. I was whoa, dropped my own block. Whoa, blooper. Um, yeah, I was. I tried them when I first got the leaf, and I was blown away. I didn't get but three shaves out of them, but hey, I was blown away with all three of them in there. It was one of the smoothest possible shaves I've ever had, ever. No blood or nothing. Okay. And while the alum does its deal, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dry off my alum block, my towel here. We've been sitting out, dehumidifier, it'll be dry in no time, literally. Let's do a recap. I prepped my face off camera with some coconut oil. I went with the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Starcraft Roswell Synthetic Brush 24mm knot. Today's soap was the Edwin Jagger Cooling Menthol. Very nice, fresh type scent, and there is a little night, really nice menthol chill to it. It's not on the level of Parasso Green or Palm Olive, but it's or Katie's Bubbles Mile High Menthol. But this this is really nice, clean menthol, fresh type scent. I trimmed the sideburns with a and the mustache with a Razor Rock Eco, and I had a half. Gillette Wilkinson Sword from India, the Saloon Pack blade in there. 
And I went with the leaf with also just one slot. Let me see if I can show you here. Just one blade in the middle slot. Let me show you here. That's the only blade in there. And uh, it very nice, comfortable blade and uh, shave. And this was also the same blade in there. Alright, now let's get another rinse in. Cold water rinse. Nice. That was very nice, actually. I'm almost squeaky clean. But, uh, yeah, two and a half passes, and that was it, baby. I'll take it. And now to finish it off with some booster. Polarized. Man, this stuff is good. It's a Floyd Blue type scent, and I added extra menthol to it and let it age for a bit. Ooh, nice. Oh my, oh tits, what a burn. Oh. oh, nice. Very, very nice. I put the stuff everywhere. Oh, man. And that extra left on wow makes a world of difference, folks. Very, 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 very nice. All right. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys Sunday for another shave video. I'm going back to once a week, but I'm going to be shaving every two days to keep the beard down and keep the irritation at a minimum. All right. Thank you for watching. Take care and God bless. Later.